Hello and welcome everyone. Here is the last news for the 5th of June 2024. Lady Gaga breaks silence on pregnancy rumors. TikTok says hackers targeted brands and celebrity accounts, including CNN. Toxic clothes on Shane. Study finds dangerous chemicals in kids' wear. Cindy Lauper announces her farewell tour. Let's get started. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss our upcoming video. Lady Gaga recently addressed widespread rumors about her being pregnant, which gained traction after some potentially misleading paparazzi photos circulated. These images were taken at her sister's wedding, sparking speculation due to Gaga's appearance, which some interpreted as her having a noticeable belly. The pop star took to TikTok to clarify the situation personally, ensuring her fans understood the truth directly from her. In her video, Lady Gaga is seen engaging in her usual spirited behavior while applying makeup, using the platform not only to debunk the rumors but also to inject a bit of humor into the narrative. She captioned the video with a straightforward message, not pregnant, just down bad crying at the gym. This light-hearted dismissal of the pregnancy talks also doubled as a call to action for her followers, as she intertwined the personal revelation with a prompt encouraging them to register to vote, redirecting the attention towards a civic cause. The rumor debunking comes amidst Gaga's relatively private life with her boyfriend Michael Polanski, a philanthropist with whom she has been romantically involved for several years. Despite the persistent public interest and occasional rumor mill churn, this incident underscores the constant scrutiny celebrities face regarding their personal lives, often leading to public clarifications like this one. Historically, this isn't the first time Lady Gaga has had to navigate through rumors about her body. Similar speculation arose back in 2014, reflecting the ongoing challenges stars like her endure in managing public perception and personal privacy. Through it all, Lady Gaga's response to such rumors remains infused with her characteristic blend of flair and a call for greater focus on more substantive issues, like political engagement. In a recent cybersecurity incident, TikTok faced a targeted attack impacting several high-profile accounts, including global news network CNN and the personal account of celebrity Paris Hilton. The attack comes amid escalating scrutiny as TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, contests a US law mandating the sale of the social media platform by January to avoid a nationwide ban. TikTok has responded promptly, working closely with CNN to regain control of their account and enhance its security measures. Although the attack was described by TikTok as affecting a very small number of accounts, the company is actively collaborating with those impacted to restore access and fortify account security. A source informed Reuters that while Paris Hilton's account was targeted, it remained uncompromised. The backdrop to these cybersecurity challenges includes a significant legal battle as ByteDance challenges the impending US legislation that threatens a ban unless TikTok is sold. The White House has advocated for the termination of Chinese-based ownership of TikTok, citing national security concerns. TikTok, however, has refuted claims that it would share US user data with the Chinese government, emphasizing its commitment to user privacy protection. This legal dispute could potentially raise First Amendment concerns, arguing that banning TikTelic to keep could infringe on the free speech rights of its approximately 170 million US users. Additionally, the platform's creators, who rely on it for income, and China's stated opposition to a forced sale, add layers of complexity to the issue. Currently, TikTok is already prohibited on federal government devices within the US, with exceptions only for specific law enforcement, national security, and security research users. This situation underscores the ongoing tension between national security imperatives and the interests of a global digital community. A recent study by the Belgian consumer organization Test Ackets has raised significant concerns about children's clothing sold on the popular Chinese shopping platform, Shane. The analysis, which tested 25 children's clothing items, found harmful substances in 40% of them, posing potential health risks such as allergies and hormonal disruptions for children. The tested products, including coats, rain jackets, swimwear, shoes, and shirts, revealed alarming levels of toxic chemicals. Substances such as lead, nickel, dimethylformamide, and quinoline were detected, with some items containing these chemicals at levels far exceeding European safety standards. For instance, one pair of shoes contained five times the permissible amount of lead, while the levels of pH thalates were found to be several hundred times over the legal limit. 
These findings are particularly concerning given the delicate nature of children's skin and the potential for long-term health effects. The presence of these substances can cause allergic reactions and may interfere with hormonal development, posing serious risks to children's health. Shane, which has gained immense popularity globally, boasts over 45 million active users in the European Union alone. The popularity of the platform underscores the potential widespread impact of these findings, as numerous families may have purchased and used these harmful products unknowingly. The study's results highlight the need for stricter regulation and quality control in the production and sale of children's clothing, especially on international e-commerce platforms like Shane. Consumers are advised to be vigilant and possibly reconsider purchasing children's wear from sources that have not been thoroughly tested for safety. Cindy Lauper, the iconic Brooklyn-born singer-songwriter, has announced her farewell tour, marking her first major tour in over a decade and her final series of live performances. This North American tour will span 23 cities, starting on October 18 at the Bell Centre in Montreal, Quebec and concluding on December 5th at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. One of the highlights of the tour will be a performance at Madison Square Garden in her hometown of New York City on October 30th. Lauper, a two-time Grammy Award winner known for timeless hits like True Colors and All Through the Night, plans to make this tour memorable. Live Nation, the event's promoter, has revealed that special guests will join Lauper, although their identities will be announced closer to the tour dates. Ticket sales have begun with an artist pre-sale, and general tickets will be available starting June 7th through Live Nation's website. In conjunction with her tour, a documentary titled Let the Canary Sing has been released on Paramount Plus on June 3rd in the US and Canada. Directed by Alison Elwood, the film explores Lauper's remarkable journey from her rise to stardom to her pivotal role in shaping punk style and music, as well as her extensive advocacy work. Lauper's farewell tour, dubbed the Girls Just Wanna Have Fun Farewell Tour, is not just a series of concerts but a celebration of her influential career. She is scheduled to discuss the tour and the documentary in a guest appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. This tour promises to be a significant event for fans and music historians alike, offering a final chance to see one of music's most vibrant and influential figures perform live.